Hey, it's Ryan here from Ryanet going over a tutorial on how to use IC's new 7500 series color matching system. Now the 7500 series color matching system is IC's new formulated and updated proven technology that will allow you as a screen printer to basically cu custom match any Pantone color in the Pantone book. So as a screen printer this gives you the flexibility to never have to turn down a job because you don't have the color. This gives you the capacity to not have to stock as many colors on your shelf. Instead of having to stock 40 different colors, you can simply Pantone match any of those colors ready to go fairly quickly with this system. Also, when you're color matching or Pantone matching for a customer, you typically can charge a little bit more for that work because it's not a standard red ink out of the box. So it gives you the ability to make more money, the ability to stock less product, and a flexibility to even make specifically specialty inks with this system. So gives you as a screen printer, it makes you much more what rounded as a screen printer and will give you the ability to do a lot of different things and actually become a little bit more profitable in the process. So let's go over how this system works. Before we start, let's cover the two types of systems that we have. The 7500 system comes in a ready for use system, meaning that any of the inks in this system could literally be pulled out of the container, put into a screen and printed with. So that's why it's called ready for use. It also comes with a colored concentrate system. Now the way ink is made is it starts out with a base and then you put pigment in it. The color concentrate system is pigment and base. So the color concentrate system, you can't take a pigment and put it in a screen because it doesn't have enough base in it. It wouldn't have enough base to actually bond into the ink and cure to the shirt. So the advantage to the ready for use system is that it's, you can use any of the colors, put them on the screen and print with them. So there's not, there's not as much mixing involved. You can take an ink and actually print with it. The advantage of the pigment system is that you can make any ink out there. So if you have specialty effects inks, like you want to make a custom color shimmer ink, or you want to make a high density base, or a blowout base, you can make any ink that you want by taking a base, which doesn't have to be a, a, just a clear base. It can be a special effects base, a glitter base, a shimmer base, and put a pigment into it. So any of these pigments that you see, you can actually make other ink out of it. So they both have their advantages. Um, typically, the ready for use system the color formulations are easier to mix because you're not mixing as precise of color. Pigment's much more concentrated. It's like food coloring, if you will. So you have to be very precise on your mixing formulas. So you need a very accurate scale and you have to be very precise when you're putting the ink in the container. Now, the ready for use system, a little bit easier. The pigment system, a little bit more complex as far as it comes to mixing, but it gives you a little bit more versatility. So as a shop, you need to decide which system you want to use. If you're doing a lot of specialty effects printing, if you're doing, uh, if you have High, highly capacity in your scales and your systems are very solid. Typically a lot of larger shops will have the pigment systems because it gives them more flexibility. Um, smaller shops, if you just want to do Pantone custom matching, the RFU or the ready for use system is going to be a little bit easier for you to use. So those are the two types of systems. We're actually going to be mixing with the pigment system because we're going to mix it into some special effects bases too. Now the only difference between the pigment system and the RFU system is that the pigment system comes with two bases. So all the systems come with nine colors of both uh, standard pigments and then fluorescent pigments. So nine of each of those sets creating an 18 color system. The ready for use system comes with a mixing white base. So you have one base and then 18 colors to mix into. Typically you're going to be mixing into these standard color ranges, only sometimes do you use the fluorescence. Now, older systems only had about 14 or 15 colors, so you might think, ooh, 18 colors, that's a lot of colors to mix with. But with this fl whole fluorescent series, you can actually mix more colors in these books. So this is an older formulated Pantone book. With the fluorescent series, you can actually mix colors in the new formulations of Pantones, which gives you, once again, more flexibilities, especially since all those fluorescents are really hot right now in the market. So, Right here, um, typically the RFU system has 19 total colors, um, including the mixing base. So once again, nine pigments or nine fluorescent colors and nine standard colors plus the mixing base. The pigment system has 20 because it also has a color concentrate base, meaning that because this ink isn't based, it's pigmented, it's color concentrate, we have to add more base to that. So it's got white and color concentrate base making a 20 color system. The systems are very easy to use. Basically, you definitely need a Pantone color book. So basically, this system comes with all the ink that you need. Upgrades that you would need for a shop, or if you're looking at this kit on our website, would you, you would definitely need a scale, because you can't eye this. You have to have a very precise scale. Now, the more precise scale that you have, the better. This particular scale goes to 0.100 of a gram. So it goes 0.1.00 grams. 
So it's very precise. Some scales will only go to 0.1, some scales will only do one gram. We would not recommend a single gram scale that does not have a decimal point. You should probably get at least a tenth decimal point, so 1.1 in your scale to get fairly close. You need a Pantone book and you're going to use the solid coated system. You need mixing containers, of course. Now, you could just use a standard plastic, I mean, just a paper cup, literally. But getting containers that you can actually put labels on um, is a little bit you know, beneficial because it keeps things cleaner and it keeps your labeling and your stocking of the ink consistent. Ink mixing tools, like I love these metal spatulas because they're easy to clean. And we have some cleaning tools here, some crazy clean wipes that allow us to easily clean these as we're mixing the colors. So that's what you need. The, the kits typically come with just the ink, so you always have upgrade options to get empty core containers, Pantone books, and scales. And obviously you can always get these on our website too. Now let's go over how the system works. Now basically the system doesn't come with a software that you have to load onto a computer. It's very easy to use. So you can use it on a phone, you can use it on an iPad. I have it on an iPad right here. It's an online application. And you can actually create a user login. So let's zoom in here and take a look at this application. And right now we're not going to log in, so we're going to use this without an account. The nice part about creating an account login is you can actually save your formulas and there's actually some online calculators that will calculate your ink consumption cost based around your mesh count and how big your image is. So you can get some really cool stuff out of this simple app. So right here we're going to choose our system. Now you see the older series of systems, with this, which is the 7400 series. That's the system that we used to sell. We don't sell that anymore. That's been discontinued to create room for the 7500 series, which is what we're talking about. So we're going to go with the 7500 series coded system. Um, the 7500 series coded system has a choice of coded and uncoded. Now we always typically mix for screen printing purposes coded inks. Um, that's what we're selling on our website and that's what is easier to use mixing to the solid coated book as well. So let's use the 7500 color concentrate and the 7500 series coated. Now for our mixing purposes in this video, remember that we said we have the color concentrate system. So we're going to simply select the color concentrate system. Now all we have to do is get your formulas right there. So we're going to go get our formulas and we're going to choose a Pantone color. So let's come over here in our book and choose a uh, harder to use Pantone color. So let's see. How about this? Let's make a nice green. So we're going to choose Pantone 368C. So we're going for that green right there. Now we can show our customers that and we can, you know, as we're going over the job with the customer, we can actually build that out. So that is once again 368C. So we just scroll down to 368. Very easy to scroll on the system. So 368C. There we go. And then we get to tell it how much ink we're going to mix. So right here you have batch sizes. So we can make one quart, one gallon, one five, five gallon batch, or different gram sizes, or you can do custom grams. Now typically 500 grams, 1,000 grams, 500 grams is roughly just, just under a pint. Uh, we don't need to make that much ink today, so we're just going to go custom here. And we're going to put in, we want to make 100 grams. So 100. And then hit batch size calculator. Oh, this is cool too. Batch size calculator, you can actually calculate how much ink that you need. So this is your print coverage. So right here, let's say we're going to do, uh, we have 110 mesh. Let's say 110 mesh. We're gonna, our print coverage area is 10 inches. So we go 10 inches right there. That's square inches. Coverage percentage. So let's say it's 80% of that area is going to be covered with ink. Um, number of prints that we're going to be doing. We do 100, let's do 200, and then that'll give us ink required. So it says 115 grams right there, and then it actually puts that right into the system. So right there it says 115 um, based on that calculation size. So let's actually just go with that number. So we just hit custom right there, and that gives us the formula. So right here, here's our formula right here. So we have the color concentrate mixing base, we have yellow, mixing white, green, and scarlet. So this particular um, formula does not have any of those fluorescent colors in it, which once again, that's why we actually get a little bit more of the standard color concentrates. So let's go to work and make that and show you how that works on the gram scale. Okay, so right here we have our formula. Let's make that a little bit bigger so we can see it very easily. Mixing base, obviously that has the most percentage, that's why you get the most in the kit. Yellow, mixing white, green, and scarlet. So let's get, let's get those colors right here. 
So there's our violet, red, blue. There's our green. Right there, there's our yellow, and there's our scarlet. So those are our three colors. Let's get these out of the way. And then we have our mixing concentrate base, and then our mixing white. So there's our base, and then our white. So we have all the colors that we need. We also have our book ready for reference, and we have our scale. Now, we have an empty pint container here. The first thing that we're going to do is put that on the scale, and we're going to tear it, or sometimes that's called zero out, depending on the scale. So we're going to zero it out, giving us a zero starting point. Then we're going to start mixing the gram ratios. So we're going to start with our mixing base. Right here, percent of weight, um, and what we're going to probably do is we're going to round up because we have only a 0.10 scale. I was wrong there earlier in the video. I thought we had a 100 scale. We only have a 10th scale. So since we have a 0.10 scale, we're going to round up. So uh, 0.95 will round up to 10, making that 75 grams right there. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mix in 75 grams of the color concentrate base. You want to get most of that in the bottom of the container. and you want to be as precise as possible. Okay, there we have 75 grams. Okay, then we're going to go with 24.8 grams of the yellow. So we can tear this out again, take it to zero. So we got the yellow open already. Now you do probably want to mix this up a little bit if it's a brand new container. So take it, don't just pull from the top, take that top and just mix around. Now you'll notice that the PCs, pigment concentrates, are much, much thicker than standard ink. Kind of the opposite of water-based. Water-based you don't really have very thick pigments, but with Plastisol you definitely do. So we're going with 24 grams here. And this is where we mean the system, the mixing system, this mixing system is a little bit harder to use because it's much more precise. And the pigments are thicker. But all you have to do is just be precise about it and you should be fine. Now if you get too much, like I just did, that's why you don't mix everything together until it's all done. I'm going to clean off my ink there. Now I'm going to take this down in there and you can definitely see it's separated. You want to pull out, obviously, the yellow until we get down to our 24.8. Okay, we're good there. Mixing white, we have 12.8. So we'll tear that again. We'll grab some mixing white. We don't need a lot of it. There we are at 12.8. When you're mixing, you want to make sure that you're cleaning your spatula very, very good if you're going to be using the same spatula because if any uh, ink gets mixed into any of the other containers, that's not good for business, obviously. All right, the next color is green. We got 2.3 of that. You'll notice how dark this green is. Again, mix it up just a little bit before you put it in. Now, 2.3 is not a whole lot, so we're going to tear this first, and we're going to be very precise what we're putting in here. This ink, as you can see, it is runnier, so it's going to be lighter weight. The darker inks need less actual pigment in them, so they are lighter weight. There we go. Last we have the scarlet, and that's going to be 0.14. So we're just going to go just over 0.1. So once again, mix that up good beforehand. And this is very, very precise. And there we are at 0.1. Okay, once we have all the colors in there, we're going to mix it on up. Now when you're mixing, you want to make sure to get all the color concentrate and, the, and or the color, RFU color, ready uh, off the sides. So you want to use a brand spanking new, very, very clean ink mixing tool. So you're really going to want to mix this aggressively. And uh, we probably won't need to film all that. Okay, once mixed, the next step is to actually take this out of the container and take a look at it on a white background against the color swatch. So right there, looks spot on, which is a great thing about the system. And then you can also print it or put a little bit on a white test pellet, and that will also tell you there. But what we're seeing here is pretty much straight on. 
And then from our mixing software, we can actually print a mixing label, which is cool because that can go right on the container. We can just tape it over with white tape, or if we have a label printer, you can actually print that directly on a label and it shows you exactly what you got. So now you know how to mix a Pantone color using the color concentrate system. The, the process is the exact same with the RFU system. Now we're going to show you how to mix the special effects. So right here we have some iridescent shimmer. It's called low bleed shimmer from IC. And we're actually going to take one of these color concentrate fluorescents like this hot pink right there and mix it in and create a fluorescent special effects ink. So that's the cool part about the color concentrate system is you can make those special effects inks. When you're mixing directly into base without going off of a color formula, you never want to go over 10% pigment to base. So that means if we put 90 grams of this, we're only going to do 10 grams of that. So 10% is that number that you don't want to cross the threshold. So let's actually just do that. Let's hit 90 grams there. And that's at 90 grams. The nice part about doing this as well is you don't have to be super exact because you're not mixing a Pantone color, you're just making essentially ink. So you want to be close. So that's like 90.5. We're fine. Now we'll tear that again, or we, we don't even have to tear it. We can just simply add 10 grams of this pigment. And once again, this, this bright pigment's pretty thick. So there's just over 10 grams. So once again, you don't have to be super exact. You should be fine there. And then all you have to do here is just mix this together. Okay, now you have hot pink iridescent shimmer ink. I think that's pretty rad. That's one of the things I really like about that color concentrate system. So depending on the size of shop you have and what you're going to be doing, um, that's one nice part about going with the color concentrate system. The mixing, if you're just doing a lot of Pantone mixing, the color concentrate system is more exact and uh, takes a little bit longer. Here's just another example of another base that we could use. This is a high density base and we could actually mix this into another color by either using the color formulas or just by, by adding pigment. So if we wanted to make this black, we would just use the black pigment right here and just mix it into high density. There we have our custom Pantone number, number 368 with our label on it. You can cap that and then we can be ready to print with it. So that's cool. We also have the fluorescent color that we mixed up. Just a start of the wonderful stuff you can do with the Pantone series, 7500 Pantone series from International Coatings. So if you're a screen printing shop looking to mix any color in this Pantone book, whether it be for a custom sports team or just a ready for use color on your shelf, the 7500 series mixing system from International Coatings is a great way to go to add versatility and profitability to your screen printing business. Check out both these series available on our website, both the ready for use series and the color concentrate series and more videos available on our YouTube channel on how to use them.